Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to this video. So in this video, we're going to show you different ways that we can calculate the number of hours or minutes or time between two dates. So there are actually several ways to handle this in Excel. But one thing that you have to remember is that if you want to do such thing, you have to make sure that your data includes dates. So it cannot be just like time or in it's just 805, something like that. And then you want to find out the difference between the two dates. This is okay if you're dealing with time between just the same day. But if your time will move to another day, it's safe to always have the date together with the time. So make sure that your data has this. So the first task that we want to do here is you want to find out how many hours, minutes, seconds okay, between the two dates. So believe it or not, it's actually quite an easy task in Excel. If that's what you want, you simply have to start, of course, with the equal sign. And then you start with a higher number, which is from B2, here the end date, and then minus, and then the start date. So it's just simple subtraction, and then hit enter to get the result. So you will get a decimal number if the cell doesn't have any format yet. Now, what is this? Remember that date and time are actually also numbers. So if these cells are formatted as numbers, you will see that this is the actual value of the cells. What we are seeing in the answer of the subtraction is the answer when you subtract those two numbers. We simply have to format this as something that we recognize as time. So for that, we have to right click and then format the cells. And then we have to choose a special format for this. It's actually not under time, but it has to be under custom. And you have to choose the format HMMSS, but choose the one wherein the hour is enclosed within square brackets. This is not the same as the one with out the square brackets. The one without the square bracket will be just your regular time. But this one, the one with brackets, is more of the quantitative time. So the hours here will keep on adding up. It will not like reset after after 24 hours, it's go back to 1 a.m. So the curly the square brackets will just add up. So 24 hours plus one is just 25 plus one more is 26. It won't reset back to the next day. So I'll click OK now. And what you have here is the hours, minutes, and seconds between those two dates. Now, if you want to extract the hours from this, you can simply say equals hour, open parentheses, and then you get the cell that contains the time that we have. So enter. And if you ever you get this, um time you simply have to format it back into general format okay, to see that it's three hours between okay, the two dates so take note that we had to use what we just did under column c the subtraction but take note that you can also just get the hour directly from the subtraction so let's say equals hour open parentheses and then we get the values from the end time or end date and time minus the start and date and time and you will get the same result so you do not have to create two columns if you just want to get the number of hours in between the two time date time values that we have now, what if we also want to get the minutes? So if we have hour, then we also have minute. So we have minute here, open parentheses, and then we get cell C2. Or just like what we've learned, you can also just do subtraction from B2 minus A2, and you will get the minutes okay, between those two date and time. 
So the same is true for the seconds. Now, another typical problem that we have that I encounter from questions is what if I want this to be in decimal form? Because the minutes I have here pertain to the actual minutes. So this is 15 minutes. This is 18 minutes, 27 minutes. But what if I want to get the decimal format of this? So I could just get the 3.25, 2. Point something. So let's say I want that instead. So if I want to get the decimal okay, form, decimal form, so I would simply get the hours, the three, and then plus, and then remember that in order for you to get the decimal or the percentage, technically, you simply have to get the minutes from F2, from 15, and then divided by 60. So it's three plus 15 divided by 60 and enter and we get 3.25 so from september 26 8 25 p.m until september 26 11 41 p.m it's a total of 3.25 hours so i could format this so it would look nicer now take note that that does not consider the seconds but most of the time that would be enough but just in case you also want to consider the seconds the number of seconds and consider it in the decimal form so let's also do that so if there's the hour solution then we also have the minute solution so therefore we also have the one for the seconds so it will be equals second then open parentheses and then we get it get it from the cell b2 minus cell a2 so enter and you get the number of seconds so we have b2 minus a2 or if you already have the uh the time previously calculated you could also get it from that cell c2 so whichever works for your situation so now we found out that it's 26 seconds okay, uh, portion of the time. So we're going to also consider that in our decimal form. So in the previous one, we just added the hours. So we just added the hours to the three. And then we have to add the minutes, which we calculated as the number of minutes divided by 60 we have this but now we're also going to add the seconds so we're going to add another one and for this one we're going to get the number of seconds divided by 60 and divided by 60 again in order to get a lower decimal number and we're using 60 here because it's 60 minutes per hour and 66 seconds per minute so we'll get this answer where it's not just 3.25 we now have 3.25722 which is a more precise number of uh, hours in decimal form between the two dates so those are the different ways that you can calculate between uh, two dates to find the time in between and i hope you like this video and if you have any questions feel free to like and subscribe and ask uh, in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can. But for now, this is it. I'll see you in the next video.